Hi, I'm Ben, I'm the production manager at Cyvex, and welcome to another episode of Wiring Wednesdays. So today we're going to talk about preparation and how it is king. So in terms of inputs and outputs, or otherwise known as I.O., it is very important to understand what you're working with and how you should be approaching the hardware in regards to the wiring techniques and what is on the other end of it. Nitrous solenoids are a core subject here at Cyvex. Also, uh, fans. People generally think that it is okay, or they have done in the past, due to not obviously doing their homework, that attaching a nitrous solenoid or a fan directly to uh, the Cyvex ECU, or any ECU for that matter, is a good idea. <laughs> and believe me, it is not. So what happens when you attach a nitrous solenoid, or a very large nitrous solenoid, I might add, because some of the smaller ones are okay to do this, but we don't recommend it regardless, is when a large solenoid turns on and it has a heavy pressure load behind it, it requires quite a substantial amount of current to open that solenoid or allow the flow of whatever it is, such as nitrous, to pass through the solenoid. What happens when you do do that is there's these guys on the board, which is a transistor or a series of small transistors, which are much smaller than these ones, that will turn on what is known as a gate. When that gate turns on, it will then allow a substantial amount of current to pass through it momentarily, at which point it will blow up, which you don't want to do. And fans are quite capable of doing this as well. How to overcome this problem is to use, in, the, in regards to a nitrous solenoid, a solid state relay. These can be quite expensive, but in terms of having your board repaired, it is actually cheaper. So I recommend using a solid state relay. Uh, if anybody has any questions about this subject, please put them in the comments or email support at cyvex.com and they will actually point you in the right direction of what hardware you should be using. Fan relay is second to that. So you should be using a fan, uh, sorry, a fan relay with your fan. I know that may sound obvious to some, but it has been a common problem where people have been attaching fans directly to the outputs of the ECU, expect them to work for, or, or function properly. This isn't the case, and again, it can cause c catastrophic damage to an ECU. I will add, though, that there are some pieces of hardware that you can use that do support high current outputs or switching modes, which is, in a lot of cases, there are some PDUs out there that you can use that have high current outputs, but again, it's not worth it because you will in one, one case or another, someone will have a perfectly fine working case, which we have come across in the past with nitrous and fans, uh, where, though in most cases, the inrush current on a fan is catastrophic and can cause serious damage. To conclude on this subject, it's important to know what you're working with, essentially. The hardware is, is designed to work to certain parameters. Most of the outputs on most ECUs will work up to a range of 10 amps. And if you are exceeding that value, it is very high, it is highly likely that you're going to end up damaging something on the board. If you've liked this video, please consider like, liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. If you have any questions in regards to what I've been talking about today, please let us know either at support at cyvex.com or in the comments below where we will endeavor to look at what you said and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.